welcome to WBEC Morning Blast Off. I'm Banks. And I'm Kennedy. Thank you for joining us again on WBEC. Here's Dr. Williams with the word of the day. Good morning, Bear family. Dr. Williams here with our word of the day. Our word of the day is grok. Say it with me, grok. Now you say it. To grok something is to understand it both profoundly and intuitively. That means you're thinking very deeply about it. Here is the word grok in a sentence. She enjoyed the deep discussions in her psychology class that helped her grok some of the main themes of Western philosophy, grok. Students remember to be respectful, responsible, and resourceful in the classroom, hallway, restroom, cafeteria, and on the bus. To the moon and beyond. Have a great day, Bear family. Each year, fourth grade collects pop tabs for the Ronald McDonald House charities. Pop tabs help families stay at the Ronald McDonald House while their children receive medical treatment. This is a reminder for all Bear students to save pop tabs. We have a long way to go to beat last year's totals. Start saving now. Here's Mrs. Davenport to tell us more about October's reading challenge. Hey guys, we have a new October challenge for you starting on Monday, October the 2nd. For any students who read five books on their Lexile level in grades K through two, and any student who reads eight books or more will add their name to a rocket and your rocket will be placed on our moon. Now, here's a super challenge to go above and beyond. If you read 10 or more books, you will be rewarded with a special treat and you get a free game to a Huntington Hawks basketball game. Not only that, you'll be recognized during the halftime at the game. All books must be on your reading Lexile level. So, recap, grades K through two, five books you get on the moon. If you go beyond, you read 10 books and get a free ticket to the game. Three through five, you've got to read eight books to get on the moon and 10 books to go to the game and have a special prize. Now, here's another challenge. For any classroom that has 100% participation, that means everybody in your room reads 10 books or more, you will be able to have an out of uniform experience one day of, um, in, October, or in November. So on that day, your teacher is going to give you a sheet for you to keep your books on. And then once you've read all 10 books, this sheet will be turned in to me so I can get your ticket. So I look forward to you reading all month long and I hope to see you at the Huntington Hawk game where you'll get to meet our hawk at the game. And if you're a car rider, be on the lookout for some special visitors this week. Roger that, Commander. Let's go to a ride with the lunch menu. Today the lunchroom is serving chicken nuggets and sausage dogs. Sides include sweet potato fries and fruit. Don't forget the milk, it does the body good. Recently, there have been sightings of spider webs in fourth grade classrooms. Here are STEM projects from those classes. Well, the Batman certainly at least showed up in Miss Colony's kindergarten class. At least there was a Batman too. Enjoy this video of the weather report from Araya. chance of rain this week, but at only at a 15% chance. Usually the precipitation must be 50% or more for there to be rain. So just 
50% means we won't see any rain. Our garden sure needs rain. Back to you at the desk. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and pause for a moment of quiet reflection. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Grab your helmet and buckle in good. And get ready for some serious G-Force. Blast off to the moon and beyond!